Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger with another tips and trick guide for Injustice 2, this time featuring Harley Quinn. i just like to go over some of the tips and tricks for her that might not be immediately apparent. So first up, I'd like to go over the gunshots. So you might know, there's the air gunshot and the straight gunshot. Uh, what the game does not tell you initially is the air gunshot can actually cancel right into the straight gunshot. So say if you're trying to play keep away, this covers both your games versus just waiting and then manually doing both. So, a great little tip to keep in mind. And also, when we're talking about the straight gunshot, another little tip to keep in mind is that you see here, every time she does it, she switches sides. So you can actually make use of that stance switch button that most people find pretty useless. And use that to convince them that you're actually about to take a shot and provoke a reaction. After which you can say, get an anti-air in. Just like that, pretty simple. And all it does is just to trick your opponent into reading the situation. You think you're going for a gunshot, and actually all you did was just stand in place. Now next up I'd like to go over the trait. So the trait, you throw the bone, the hyena comes out. It's pretty simple. But if you hold up during the trait, the hyena will actually do an overhead attack, meaning the opponent has to stand guard it. Now usually your opponent's trying to duck, trying to get under your shots here, so it's a good way to make them stay up. And also, it can combo. So, and say your opponent just chooses to block, you can also just force them to guard your gunshots, getting you a little bit more meter. Now I would like to talk about the back 2-2 two, two string. So one of the main things about this is uh, it's pretty much our main combo starter with uh, that and stand 1-2. Into whatever you'd like. Uh, one thing about this is it's actually incredibly easy to hit confirm. You see, if the opponent blocks the move, the second hit simply never comes out. See here, I'm hitting the button multiple times, not coming out. So that means if you see the second shot at all, you can safely go into the tantrum stance knowing it's a guaranteed hit. Maybe not a guaranteed combo, as you see here, I just dropped it. But once again, if you see it, you know you're very safe and going directly into the tantrum stance. Now, I would like to mention her back three of the universal wall bounce. So one thing about it is compared to most casts, it actually has fantastic range. A lot of characters have good range on them, but Harley definitely has the advantage on a lot of the casts. Now, um, besides obviously, you know, being good for getting your combos. Her back three is actually advantage on block. So you have the advantage if they block it. And on top of that, it is fantastic for knocking people out of the air. The hitbox actually goes up quite high, as you can see here. And you can just kind of use it from its effective range and not be scared about missing people who jump and have them go over your head because you'll still knock them clean out of the skies. So it's the tool you can honestly be belligerent with. When you're at the range where you can kind of use it, just go crazy. And that's kind of Harley's deal anyways, being crazy, so just abuse it. It's a fantastic tool that most characters would kill to have. So go nuts. Now. To quickly mention about her air gun shot. One thing that is absolutely fantastic about this move, beside the fact that it's an overhead so they have to stand block it, is you can actually do it as low to the ground as you possibly can. See here, I'm barely above the ground if I'm not botching it. <laughs> and you can kind of just poke with it. You don't have to get the full jump, you don't have to do a big arc or anything like that, just get barely off the ground and start shooting away. Now, you might have to be a bit quick with your thumbs or your hands, depending if you're using a pad or arcade stick, but it's just one of her fantastic tools and it's, for the most part, effectively an unseeable overhead. Most people, if they're already crouching, are not going to block that in time. So make sure that's just a part of your arsenal. And finally, uh, it's a bit of common sense, I suppose. 
But Harley, she doesn't really spend any bar on combos. Most characters, they need to spend bar on combos to get any kind of real damage. Harley doesn't. So, since she doesn't need to spend bar on offense, that means, unlike most of the rest of the cats, she can pretty much reserve it exclusively for defense. That means she can do a lot of pushback combos. She can save it for air escapes. And it's kind of a luxury that she has that, you know, a lot of people, they want to get the damage they need to spend a bar, so they don't have that luxury. So it's just another little feather in Harley's cap, as it were. And it's a good thing to keep in mind is keep those defensive opens option because you should have the bar to be able to use them. Anyways, that's kind of everything for the video. Hope this found you well and go out and play some Injustice. Thank you.